New York City Mayor Eric Adams says he'll correct his annual financial disclosure form after failing to report cryptocurrency holdings with a value of $1,000 or more. A City Hall spokesperson told the Daily News that Adams left out his stake in Bitcoin and Ether because he misunderstood the question on the form. A bejeweled boost to the economy. The Federal Reserve is crediting Taylor Swift and her Eras Tour ticket sales with helping fuel the national tourism industry. Philadelphia Federal Reserve officials reported that hotel bookings jumped thanks to Swift's show dates, showing the strongest growth since the beginning of the pandemic. And New Zealand-based accounting firm Zero is offering 20,000 free tickets to multiple matches at the FIFA Women's World Cup. This comes amid concerns over a lack of ticket sales. Reports say ticket sales in Australia are significantly higher, with 1.2 million sold for the tournament. The Powerball jackpot is now worth $875 million after no one matched all six numbers in the past 36 drawings. So we're all daydreaming about how we would spend that cash, but experts recommend taking a step back before making any quick decisions. Here to discuss is Jennifer Streaks. She's a senior personal finance reporter with Insider. She's here to help us when we all win. Well, even though, you know, not all of us, but one of us has to win. So, <laughs> yeah. so you, you've won the lottery, right? You can't believe it. You're, you're having a heart attack. What is your first step? The first step is to not tell anyone I know we've all seen these movies and anecdotes of, you know, lottery winners jumping for, you know, the sky and running around and telling everyone and quitting their job. Don't do that. Take a step back. Think about how you're really going to receive this money. Protect your ticket. Don't rush to claim your prize. And also hire a team of professionals uh, before you claim your prize that are in place to help you with this money. See, I would want to rush to claim my prize because I lose everything and I am forever finding random lottery tickets that are stuffed in drawers and stuff like that. And so I would be I would like have to get the thing out of my hand right away. But I (laughs) I understand. And so like your big question, once you do sort of turn that ticket in, is lump sum or annual payouts? Are there benefits to both? Yeah, definitely. With your lump sum You get all of your money, as much of it as you can in one lump sum payment. Uh, You're not at risk of not receiving all of your winnings. You're not at risk of all of a sudden there's some sort of insolvency and they can't pay out. You also have the opportunity to invest that money the way that you would like and even build up more, more cash. So there's definitely a benefit to the lump sum payout. Uh, but I suppose also, you know, people are so emotional about money. And mm-hmm. I guess if you're not savvy enough to make a good investment or to hire a good investor, maybe, you know, getting it in the annuity might work out better for you just so you can keep your money. That's true. I mean, the annuity is a guaranteed income. Yeah. So you're going to get this payout every year for at least 20 to 30 years, depending on what that lottery association, how they're going to pay it out. You're going to get this for the remainder, you know, of your life. So that's guaranteed, you know, income. So if you're someone that needs maybe, you know, just a little bit at a time, we do know that most lottery winners, they go broke in like three to five years because they have never had that amount of money and they run through it. So maybe an annuity payout might be better for you. And you still get the money, right? Like, say, I mean, God forbid something terrible happened to you and you weren't around anymore. Right. That money would still go to your estate or something like that? Estate, exactly. You would still, your estate would still get the money. So it's not that all, all of a sudden you're no longer here and all of a sudden it's over. It doesn't happen like that at all. So I was reading about, like, the biggest mistakes that people make when they win a, the lottery. And two of them I thought was interesting. One, one was described as lifestyle creep. Like you start to slowly spend a little bit more. The little, you know, exactly. rowboat isn't good enough for you. Now you need a yacht. And also they exactly. don't really have a good concept of how much money they have. You feel like it's exactly. going to be a bottomless pit that could never run out, but it can. So you ne- can. You can't spend yourself. You can't spend the money, even right. though it might be 20, 30, 40, 50 million. You can spend the money if you're buying 10 Ferraris. If all of a sudden you want the mega yacht, if all of a sudden you're on a private plane every day, there are ways to spend through a significant amount of money. And that's why it's important to hire that team of professionals and maybe even put yourself on an allowance. 
Can you imagine that? An allowance when you have that much? Well, actually, you know what? I can. I've been imagining that for like all week long. Uh, Jennifer, <laughs> every time I buy a lottery ticket. Jennifer, thank you.